Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Chen. Today we want to show you how to create a Kobo toolbox, how to create a form in a Kobo toolbox. Um, here we are. Um, if this is your first time, please take note of this um, link. Um, http um, column slash www.kobotoolbox.com So um, what we are going to do now is to copy this link, okay? We are going to copy it. I'm going to put this down below this this video so you can go there and copy and do the same so right here we'll come to our browser here okay and then we paste it there and then we click we remove the slash the slash and then we click okay so now we want to go to the Kobo toolbox site so we come to the site this is the site here okay okay bear in mind that I already have an account okay so if this is your first time let's say you want to create your account because normally you need to have an account and I advise that um, those of you who are coming your first time to watch this please make sure you have um, you use an already created gmail account because each time you create your account they are going to send confirmations to your email so here we'll just go to create an account and we click and when we click here you see there are two different server you have the global server provided by Kobo Toolbox for researchers you have the other server which is for humanitarian I am working with a humanitarian organization so this is I'm going to choose this option so here I'm going to go to create account so this is for those who are watching for their first time okay when you cre click on create account it is going to ask for your name for your organization for your username my own username is new same chain which you are going to see is going to ask for your email please make sure you have an already created gmail account because when you use the email you are going to send confirmations when you create your account in this process the sector you're going to choose um, if it is um, environment private sector etc if it's arts entertainment public administration you're going to choose your country you're going to choose as well if you're coming from Cameroon or Nigeria or USA anywhere you're coming from you're going to choose across and then you're going to put a password okay the one you want the kind of password that you remember okay you're going to choose if you're a male or female and here you're also going to repeat the password you put the same password here and you repeat the same password here for confirmation when you do this and then you click you click create when you cl click create it's going to take you to the next process probably it's going to ask you um it's going to send a confirmation to your email okay that's why it's good to use an already created email but since i already have an account i'll just click go here and click login okay i'll click login that is for those who don't have account already and when i click login it already comes here i love the way that developers have done it um there's a way that you allow the system to keep your password because i don't want to keep repeating my password on the system so it's already there and my name is new Semo chain so i'm just gonna click login so this video is for those who have never visited Kobo toolbox before so if you look at my Kobo toolbox system here I have different projects that I have created um, I have different forms that I've created and I've deployed um, six forms here it's already showing here so today we want to create a new form for beginners okay so I'll just go I'm just gonna come up here and click new I'll just come here and I'll click new okay when I click new um, I don't want to stress you with all these other options upload an xlsm form import an xl xlsm form via url all these i don't want to stress you okay since you are a beginner i want us to build from scratch so we are going to go here and then we click and then we are going to choose um kubo toolbox is asking us some questions the project name let's say education we do a lot we deal a lot with education let's say description um for beginners okay this video is for beginners okay good this description description here simply means explaining further about the kind of form that you want to create okay and then here the sector I'll just write education again education and then I'm um, the country I'll just click Cameroon because I'm writing I'm doing this from Cameroon I'm going to click Cameroon because I'm doing this from Cameroon 
so I'm looking for Cameroon so I'm gonna click Cameroon and then since it's just a test we are just doing um, a video for learning I'm gonna click create project so it's creating a project you see good so right here we want to create our first um, question on our first form so here this is for those who are watching this for their first time so here there are some things I want to show you if I come here and I click this and then I start writing my question okay my question might be name maybe we want the name of the respondents who are going to be um, putting in their information maybe we want to collect um, data from children that want to distribute maybe food supplies okay so we need to get their names so we we'll put names here and then we come here we we'll need to get their names so the first question is name and then we put add question then we'll click so here I want to take us through and teach us something here okay here is select one select one here means um, we have different varieties of options here so here is select one select one here is mostly um, if you're asking them if they are male or female okay so they cannot be male and female at the same time or if you're asking them sex then you put two options it means they have to select one option okay select many here means that you're asking them about their economic um how they get income from their into how they get income some might have two ways of getting income maybe through work or through consult maybe through consultation consultancy work or through farming it means they have two sources of income then in this kind of question they can select two different sources of income okay and then text here simply means you're asking them their name like the question that we have asked now we are going to be selecting text because we want them to write something okay in the form of text the number is when you are asking their phone number okay you want them to write in the form of number they are going to write their numbers or you're asking them their age in numbers so they are going to write you're going to choose this one and then decimal here is you're asking their income how much do they make you know and also if you're asking them a size of their land so you're going to choose this because these figures will be coming with some decimals and then here um, you'll be asking them about the dates okay you can ask them how when um, were you born okay or how old are you you can, they can still give those answers in form of dates if you want to receive it in form of a date you are going to choose this option um, also date and time if you want to know the specific time that they are doing whatever they are doing you want to choose date and the specific time as well and then there is something I want you to take note here um, photo if you want to get the photo of your respondents you choose this option it means that each time that you send the link they are going to take a photo and then upload into the question and then you receive it in your server and then here is not i want us to take note of this not here simply means if you want to just give highlight an information or give a direction of the next question you select this okay we'll be doing all this and you see and then um, what again ranking question um, is just giving different options and people rank for instance you can put agree disagree I'm um, not agree you know those kind of question but today I don't want to stress us a lot with all these other options let's begin for those who are coming here for their first time so since we have chosen name we are just gonna we are gonna click text we want them to give us their names okay and then the second question that we are going to be input in including in our form is the age we want to know their age okay and then we are going to select question we are going to put numbers we just want to get it in number if you're five years just put five years if you're ten years just put ten years and then the next question is we want to know their sex if they are male or female okay and then we put select question so now we want them to select one are you seeing we're gonna click here so you see it really gives us an option okay so the first option we want, we want to know if they are male or they are female are you seeing now and then um, we're gonna put this down and then the last question that we, um, we want to get sources of income I see now good so we come and then we put select many so here now we'll put from farm they get income from farm 
from market we, we are just assuming things here okay <laughs> from from relatives relatives okay now we have designed these questions now we have one two three four questions there is something i want to show you in kobo toolbox also here we can save now each time you design your question make sure you save so we are going to click save so you see it is safe it has successfully updated or saved now the next thing that we want to show you here or i want to show you here is you see this small icon here the preview form so we want to see how this form looks like we'll come here and we click so it's going to take us and show us how this form looks like okay it's something that's very important you see this is how our form look like remember we gave a name education and then we asked for the name let's say john and then let's say the age is five let's say the sex is male you see you cannot select two you see you can only select one because we chose select one but here you can select more than one because we choose select many you see now we can select many is something you should take note okay good so if i come in sources of income we, we can select more than one okay so you should take note of this now we have viewed our form so now the next thing that i want to show us is we come up here and then we click this x it takes us here this is our form here so now the next thing you do after you have created your form you want to deploy the form you see this is my this is the option for deploy okay you want to deploy the form and when we deploy the form it means that now people can start bringing in their information so if i come here and i click deployed deployed form it has already been deployed now when you click deploy the next thing that you need to take note of you need to come up here and choose which way you want to receive submissions okay online offline multiple submission this allows online and offline submissions and is the best option for collecting data in the field of course this is the best option people can use their phones use their computers any way you send a link they can receive those forms but we'll be talking about this in other videos for now i want us to select this first option so i show you something in in here okay if we select offline and online it means that even if somebody doesn't have an internet okay when they send the information it's going to stay in the server when they have internet boom it comes into your own database so right now we have already deployed and now we want to copy the link so we are going to come here okay and we copy the link we have copied the link so now we can share the link to anyone okay so let me come here and then i paste the link on this new browser here Control v and i click enter you see so it's already opening the form now we're assuming that you have sent it to you in cameroon and you have designed this form and then you are sending it to somebody in ghana so they are now ready to start putting in information you see so now let me put my name Hillary. Let me put my age 35, no 36 plus. A male sources from farm from market. Okay. And then I click submit. So you always find this kind of this um, default um, 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 information. Please, when you get this, don't worry. The form is still will still be submitted. So one successfully submitted so we go back to our kobo toolbox system and then we refresh always make sure you refresh up here refreshing is always very important now when we refresh you are going to see up here we are going to see one submission you see there is one submission here you see so we have submitted already so you should take note of this so if i come to data it's going to show me the submission you see so it's showing me the submission my name is hillary 36 years male you see these are the sources of income if i go back to that same form and i put another name derek derek and i put the age um 30 and i put um sex male and i put sources of income again and i still submit okay and i come back to my cobalt toolbox it's still one submission and i refresh again 
when I refresh again you see that we have okay it's still going we are still queuing here okay two successfully summit okay so you just have to be patient I still click refresh again now we are going it's we are going to see it here now perfect now we have two submissions so we come to data you see here so we now have two names the first name was Hillary the second one now is Derek and then 36 30 male male and then you see so if we come to summary here and we want to look at report if you come to report here and you click report automatically it gives you a snapshot of our submissions okay it says from farm these are the questions sources of income here we already have you see cobalt to book is already giving you um it's a a a, a, a brief report from far from relatives from market from farm so both of us said we are getting income from farm so this was mostly selected you see here now so all of us are male you see so it gives you a snapshot it takes each questions and give you a short report of that question automatically so this is very powerful okay so um this is all we had for you today for beginners who are coming into cobalt toolbox thank you very much i'm looking forward to other topics